sphere. A sphere is a geometrical object in three-dimensional space that is the surface of the ball. A round ball shaped solid. It has one continuous surface, no edges or vertices. We can take as example ball, moon, planet, eyeball, orange, they are spherical shapes. They don't have vertices, only one continuous surface. If you draw from center to the point of the curved surface, any point of the curved surface, a straight line that is equals the radius of the sphere. Let's find the surface area of a sphere. This is a sphere. Let's draw a line through the center. This is the diameter of this. And from this center to any surface of this sphere, if you draw a straight line, that is equal to the radius. This is the diameter of the sphere, that is 2R. Then we can take a cylinder like this. Same as the diameter of the sphere. Then this diameter also, same as the diameter of this. And height also, we have to take it equals to the diameter of the sphere. And height equals diameter of the sphere. And the, the diameter, cross section, diameter equals the diameter of the sphere. So here, height of this cylinder equals 2R and the radius equals R. The radius of the, uh, the sphere equal R and the, this cylinder also R. The height is equals the diameter of the sphere that is 2R. Then how to find the surface area of this circular cross section? We can find the circle surface area by using the formula phi r squared. Now I think you already understood about that. This type of cylinders, now we can totally immerse this sphere inside this uh, cylinder. This type of cylinders are called circumscribing cylinders. The diameter of the sphere equal to the height of the cylinder. A cylinder with the same radius as the sphere and height equal to the diameter of the sphere. It is called circumscribing cylinder of the sphere. Now let's immerse this sphere inside the circumscribing cylinder. So you can see height equals diameter so we can write it as 2R and the radius of the sphere equal the radius of the circumscribed cylinder. So we can write like this. Surface area of the sphere equals the surface area of the curved surface of the circumscribed cylinder. So we can write, we already know how to find the surface area of a cylinder. Surface area of a cylinder equals you know this is circumference of this is equal c equals 2 phi r. Then you can find the surface area of the curved surface of the circumscribed cylinder as like this. How can we find it? 2 phi r into h. Surface area of the cylinder equals 2 phi r into h. Surface area of the curved surface of circumscribed cylinder equal 2 phi r into h. Here h equals 2 r because the radius of the sphere equals the radius of the circumscribed cylinder. So we can substitute this 2 phi r into h substitute 2 r. h equals 2 r. Then 2 phi r into 2 r, 4 phi r squared. This is the total surface area of the curved surface of the circumscribed cylinder. That is equal the area of the sphere. 
the surface so that we can write the surface area of the uh, spiral. The surface area of the spiral equals 4 phi r squared. If the surface area equal a, a equals 4 phi r squared. Find the surface area of the following spiral. A equals 4 phi r squared. A equals 4 into 22 over 7 into 7 into 7. Total surface area equal 616 square centimeter.